As Democrats celebrate big wins in Georgia this past election, state Republicans are working to gain back confidence in the election system. After widespread claims of fraud, Republicans believe more needs to be done to secure Georgia's elections. That is why they've introduced bills to change Georgia's election laws. And as Fox 5's Brooke Zahner explains now, the bills are being met with criticism. The bills come after record voter turnout resulted in big wins for Democrats in the state. Voting rights advocates say these bills would only make it harder for Georgians to vote. A series of bills being proposed by Republican state senators could change the way Georgians cast ballots in future elections. Some of the proposals include ending no excuse absentee voting, banning ballot drop boxes, and requiring a photo ID to get an absentee ballot. Other bills would prevent new Georgia residents from voting in runoff elections and ban nonprofits from mailing absentee ballot applications to voters. Our Secretary of State himself has promoted that the elections were safe secure and transparent. So why change it now? At a news conference on Tuesday, voting rights advocate groups came out in solidarity against the Republican backed bills. There are folks who don't have a copy machine. There are folks who do not have access to the technology necessary and needed to produce the documents for them to obtain the necessary identification to participate in casting their vote. Republican State Senator Larry Walker introduced one of those election bills requiring a photo ID in connection to an absentee ballot. I, my bill simply requires you, if you're gonna request a absentee ballot through the mail, uh, with a mail-in mail -in request or mail-in application, that you add your driver's license number or your government issued ID number along with your date of birth. Senator Walker says he supports some aspects of the other bills and believes his bill would add an extra layer of security for absentee voting. I feel like, you know, President Biden just won the election, but the doubt has been sown in so many people's mind. And we, we do see areas where we can improve and tighten up election security. The proposed bills could go before committees in the next few days. Voting rights advocate groups say if you oppose any of these bills, you should get in touch with your state lawmakers. Reporting in Atlanta, Brooks Honor, Fox 5 News.